McDonald's has added a variety of items to their menu over the years, but not everything Ronald and the gang release is a hit. 10 Reasons McDonald's Stop Serving These Items Mix Salad Shakers And for the lady, perhaps the salad? When mix salad shakers were first added to the menu, it seemed to be an ingenious idea for those on the go wanting to eat a little healthier. However, this particular menu item was not destined to stay available forever. Mix salad shakers were exactly what they sound like, salad placed into a plastic cup that could then be shaken in the cup to mix everything together. The mix salad shakers were sold in three different types, garden salad, chef salad, and grilled chicken Caesar salad. This was before McD's had introduced their pre premium salads with more unique flavors. It turns out the mix salad shakers were not really as innovative as McDonald's seemed to think, and this particular menu item was removed for one simple reason, because sales were low. No one was overly impressed with these salads in a cup, and those who were on the go and needed a quick meal to eat usually just went with one of the salads served in the regular way, or one of their more classic menu items such as hamburgers, fries, or chicken McNuggets. Props to McDonald's for at least trying to come up with something that they thought would be helpful for their busier customers, but the idea just did not work out as they had hoped. The McSalad shakers were taken off the McDonald's menu in the early 2000s after only three years of disappointing sales. Shaken Flavor Fries Oof. Oh god, this is good. McDonald's fries have always been popular in their classic form, served freshly deep-fried and with plenty of salt goodness. And while many customers are happy with the McDonald's fries as they are, the restaurant did make an attempt to innovate their well-known potato-based product. The shaken flavor fries were an item that included a serving of fries served in a specialized paper bag and came with a small packet of flavoring on the side. The flavoring came in three different types, garlic parmesan, spicy buffalo, and zesty ranch. The flavor packets were meant to be sprinkled into the bag with the fries, and then the fries were shaken up, so the flavor coated the fries as evenly as possible. It was just a different way for them to serve flavored fries. While this item was actually pretty well-liked, McDonald's eventually removed it from their menus. We can hope that someday McD's might bring them back so that those who didn't get to experience these flavored fries can try them. I guess you could always just go and grab an order of McDonald's fries and add whatever flavoring you prefer to them, including flavors that were not an option when the shake and flavor fries were available on McD's menus. Make hot dog. Mmm, I like everything about it. Hot dogs are a favorite food of many, though they're probably most popular among children. The McHot Dog was not destined to stay on as a regular menu item, as the quality of the meat apparently was not up to par. If the meat that was being used in their hot dogs was being questioned for quality by McDonald's, it's probably a good thing for their customers that they removed this item from their general menu. While the McHot Dog is still served in a very small number of regional restaurants, mostly in Japan, it has largely been discontinued everywhere else. The McDonald's outlets that do continue to serve the McHot Dog probably have better quality control in place when it comes to sourcing the meat that is used. The McHot Dog was actually popular when it was around, but the quality control questions were enough to make McDonald's pull it from their menus. There are some customers out there who long for the item to be brought back, but for the most part, people have either forgotten about the McHot Dog or never actually experienced it before it was removed for good. The McHot Dog was introduced in the mid-90s and discontinued in most places shortly after that. Make pizza. Come on, here, you can have a piece. Take Thank two. you. Pizza was not something that most people ever thought would be served at McDonald's, but at one point, it was actually something that was available in many of their restaurants. For a while, at least. The McDonald's pizza started out as a large-sized pizza that was meant to be shared among family or friends. Eventually, it was shrunk down and turned into a personal-sized pizza meant to be eaten by an individual instead of being shared. Maybe this had something to do with the fact that the full-size McPizza could not fit through the drive through window. While the pizza was actually a hit with a lot of customers, it was still discontinued. You may wonder why they would discontinue something that was selling well, but there was a good reason behind it. The McDonald's pizza took just over 10 minutes to cook. 
which was way longer than most customers were willing to wait for their food. The whole idea behind McDonald's was to serve hot food fast. So making customers wait that long for something they expected right away was not in line with what the restaurant wanted to be. And for this simple reason, the McPizza was removed from McDonald's menus, even though a lot of customers loved the pizza, despite the wait time for it to cook. Pasta. You boys are about to see something really special. When you think of grabbing something to eat at McDonald's, you typically would not be thinking about ordering pasta. Despite this fact, the restaurant actually did offer a few different pasta options in the past. These items have been discontinued for a while now and were never extremely popular to begin with, so a lot of McDonald's customers do not even remember the menu item. McDonald's once served three different types of pasta, spaghetti, lasagna, and fettuccine alfredo. They at least did try to offer different options for those McPasta lovers out there, but despite that fact, the pasta was not popular among McDonald's customers. And for this simple reason, the pasta dishes were removed from the menu. Despite the fact that the pasta did not sell well, especially in the U.S. market, it actually continues to be served in certain McD's outlets around the world. So if you are curious as to what McDonald's pasta may be like, you can find out if you do a bit of traveling. Though traveling just to try some McPasta may seem a bit strange, McDonald's is not likely to put this item back on the regular menu. So if you missed out, unless you stumble across a Mickey D's serving up spaghetti on your travels, you are likely to never experience pasta from McDonald's. Fried Apple Pie <clears throat> Apple pie has been a classic item on the McDonald's menu for many years, and while you can still technically get an apple pie from the restaurant, it's not the same apple pie as it originally once was. McDonald's famous pie has gone through a few different versions over the years, but the biggest change to the apple pie came years after its original creation. When this dessert item was first introduced to the McDonald's menu, it was made with a lot more artificial ingredients and high fructose corn syrup, as well as having a cinnamon topping on it. The pie was also fried in oil, making it quite the unhealthy yet tasty dessert option at the fast food restaurant. The fried version of the apple pie was discontinued, and instead, a new baked apple pie was introduced. This version of the apple pie is made with a few less artificial ingredients, and instead of being fried in oil, the pies are baked. So while you can still get an apple pie at McDonald's, you're not getting the same fried apple pie that so many people loved. Customers were outraged when the original fried apple pie was being discontinued, but it seems that they've largely forgotten their misgivings, and the apple pie continues to be sold in its current baked version at McDonald's restaurants around the world. Bucket of Fries French fries are pretty good. Great fried potatoes. Yep, french fries. McDonald's fries are extremely popular and famous for their salty flavor and crispiness, as long as you get to them before they've been sitting for a while. There are a lot of people that will get a large quantity of just fries and split them among their friends or family, or some just order a serving of these fries for themselves. Whether you eat the fries on the side as part of your meal or you eat them on their own, Mickey D's fries are well known all over the world. However, one menu item that was very short-lived was the bucket of fries. The bucket of fries is exactly what it sounds like. It was a large bucket of nothing but McDonald's fries, meant to be shared among several people. It was initially a promotional item, and its lifespan on the menu was short-lived. When the promotion ended and the item was removed, many customers were upset. They would have to go back to purchasing a lot of individual servings of fries to make up the same amount they got when the bucket of fries was an option. While it's not likely that McDonald's will bring this big bucket of fries back anytime soon, we can hope that maybe they will for those of us who truly love those salty McD's potatoes. Fish McBites Fish don't even like fish, that's why they're always frowning, they're like, mmm. The filet of fish is a popular option for those heading to McDonald's but are looking for something other than beef or chicken to eat. 
But the hot fish sandwich was not the only attempt McDonald's made to add fish to the menu. In 2013, McDonald's introduced the Fish McBites to their menu. Fish McBites were small, bite-sized pieces of battered and fried fish, reminiscent of Chicken McNuggets. While they had hoped that this fish menu item would be popular, as it turns out, it was not. The Fish McBites were served in three different sizes, snack, regular, and shareable. They were also served with your choice of dipping sauce, though the deep default dipping sauce was a tartar sauce. It seems that many customers in the United States market did not go to McDonald's in order to get their fix of fish. So after only a few months of being on the menu, the Fish McBites were taken off. This is not a menu item that is likely to be brought back anytime soon, unless there's a sudden surge of fish lovers looking for a quick bite to eat on the go. McDonald's is better off staying away from adding too much more fish to their menu, as their specialty seems to be more geared towards beef and chicken, which they do well. Fruit and Walnut Salad This is possibly the finest salad I've ever eaten in my life. Over the years, McDonald's has made a few attempts at offering healthier menu items in order to draw in more customers who may not be interested in the usual fast food menu options. This is a good idea in theory, but people don't usually go to McDonald's when looking to eat healthy. One of these attempts at offering healthier options was their fruit and walnut salad, a menu item that could be ordered as a light meal or a quick snack. Despite the name, this item was not actually what most would consider to be a salad. The ingredients being pretty limited and were mostly separated from each other in the container. The fruit and walnut salad was comprised of apple slices, grapes, some candied walnuts, and some yogurt that the fruit could be mixed with or dipped in. The fruit and walnut salad was removed from the menu for the same reason as the mixed salad shakers. It simply did not sell well enough for the restaurant chain to continue having it on the menu. Few people ever really ordered the fruit and walnut salad, meaning keeping the items and packaging around for the fruit and walnut salad was a waste. A lot of McD's menu items would meet this same unfortunate fate. There may be good intentions behind introducing them, but not actually what the market is looking to spend their money on when visiting the Golden Arches. Hula Burger This might be the best hamburger I've ever had in my life. Yeah, we aim to please. Um, Mac McDonald. The Hula Burger was introduced by McDonald's as an attempt at offering a unique option for those that preferred to avoid eating meat, or simply just wanted to try something that was different than the usual options that could be found elsewhere. The Hula Burger was a very unique idea, but not one that really should have been a menu item. This take on a meatless burger did have a few fans, but most of the McDonald's customers were not interested in the taste. The Hula Burger was rather simple, a version of a McDonald's cheese Burger, but instead of being served with a meat patty, it was served with a thick slice of pineapple. The Hula Burger was introduced as part of a friendly competition between franchise owners to come up with a meat alternative. Its competition was the original filet of fish, and the fish sandwich easily won the battle between the two sandwiches. Because of this, the filet of fish was left on the menu and the Hula Burger was discontinued. Pineapple is a very odd thing to try and replace a meat patty with, as there are a lot of people who do not like pineapple at all, let alone pineapple that is topped with cheese and other traditional burger toppings and sauces. These days, there are plenty of other meatless options available for those who avoid meat in their diets, so the Hula Burger would be even less likely to be popular among customers today. Looking for more Babble Top videos? Well, we've got them, so stay right here and check out one more. Just tap or click.